Hey guys, how's it going? This is Joe Gnome, and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. Now, last episode ran really long. It was almost an hour-long episode, uh, and I'm sorry for that. Uh, but I just wanted to uh, to get some good good playtime in and really get us kicked off. You know, really get the quest started up, get past some of this uh, really easy tutorial stuff. So I was considering cutting the episode in half, but um, I was told, you know, it'd be better just to put the whole episode up. Um, and it definitely didn't have anything to do with me forgetting to put on my own timer. You know, nothing like that, nothing at all. Uh, so this episode, uh, we've, we've got a whole bunch of quests lined up. Um, and uh, I think we should uh, head over to the general store, uh, get geared up, see what they've got going there to speak to Chet, and then get started on that Powder Ganger's quest. So let's, let's get going right away. Alright, let's see. Is General Sora even going to be open? Who are you? Hey there. Good Spring Settler. Ooh. There we go, reloading bench and workbench. Do we have any recipes? Cycling energy cell. What do we get? Made at workbench, skill requirement. Ingredients drain small. Oh. Oh, I see. So we put in four energy cells, and what, get out, like, one? Yeah, okay. So we, like, merge some drained ones into a full one. Okay, that makes sense. We don't need to do that right now, though. Let's see, do we have anything here? Is it just, like... Oh, cool. Alright, so this is ammo that we've got made, and we can break it down for parts for other ammo. That's cool. Because I know there's going to be certain types of ammo that I just never use. Alright, don't really have to do anything there either. Alright. Let's see if this store is open. I would not be surprised if it isn't. Ah, oh, it is! Whoa! Is he here? Hello? Oh. What's he got in here? What's this? It kind of doesn't work if you've only got one of these. Lots of food. I mean, it is a general goods store. I mean, what, what else did I expect? A bunch of food. Anything good? Ooh. Ooh, that's mine. I'm stealing a lot of stuff, but like, I don't think I want to play an evil character, you know? Evil characters like hardly ever actually appeal to me, cause like, Whenever you get a choice to be good or evil, it seems like the evil character is just like senselessly evil a lot of the time. That's how they come out. That it's either you're, you're like just a regular guy or you're just like a complete homicidal maniac lunatic guy. Which doesn't make sense to me. I don't know. I'm saying that, but I have no idea how this one's going to be. So. That being said, I probably still don't want to be a bad guy. Just because it, it tends to have a lot of negative effects that I don't want to deal with on uh let's play through. Armor case. Oh. That's actually kinda of crap. I don't even want to carry it, it's too heavy. Any good food? Nope. get out of here and come back in the morning so I guess we can they said he was holed up at the gas station right that uh what was his name Ringo is that the guy's name the guy they've got captured I think so said he's at the up on the hill of the gas station yeah let's check if not it'll probably still be cool to explore this place 
How do you, like, just... How do you open this? Like, it, it's telling me that I can open it, but, like, how even do you? Oh, no. That's weird. And why do, uh... Why do none of these actually, like, work? Why is it just, like, free drinks that they stock it with? You can just go in and grab them all. I mean, I get that the coin slots don't, like, wouldn't take caps. But, like, you'd think they'd, you know, have some sort of, like, setup for that. Or that they would just use, like, pre-war coins, because why not? Like, if bottle caps survived, they're just, like cheap little bits of aluminum and stuff, then I'm sure, like, you know, quarters would survive. I didn't get that, you know? Like, it's, it's really cool that they use the bottle caps. It's, it's really clever. But, um, why not just use coins? Like, even, even the pre-war bills, like, I've got a whole bunch of them in my inventory. They survived. Like, the ones that are kept in cash registers and safe, they were able to survive everything. So... Why not, you know? It's, it's already this nicely uni unified thing. Who are you? They let you have That's a gun? close enough. Who are you, and what do you want with me? That's a better be a bit friendly. Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. We got off to a bad start. What say we start over with a friendly game of Caravan? You know how to play? I have no clue. Uh... That's a weird way to greet somebody. Just like, hey, sorry I was about to shoot you, you wanna play cards? Like... I feel like we're supposed to say yes? But who would actually do that? Who would, like, walk into this place, and a guy immediately comes around the corner with a pistol. And he's like, hey, bud, you want to play cards? And you're just like, yeah, let's go for it. Like, did that ever happen? I don't know. There's a guy named Joe Cobb looking for you. Yeah. He doesn't look very tough, though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I see him. And he's right. I'll have a much bigger problem once his friends show up. There's no way I could handle all of them in a gunfight. Who even are you? I'm gonna lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. Yeah, maybe I can help. We'd just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Now, if some of the other people in town were also on board... Sure, this sounds like fun. Start with Sunny Smiles. She's been friendlier than most around here. Apparently Sunny, Sunny Smiles has a lot more to say to us, too. Alright. This'll be fun. No, Ringo, come here. I wasn't done talking to you. Hey. So what's going on? Did Sunny agree to help us? Oh. Well, I don't want to make a move until she's with us. Come on, I want to play cards. Ugh. Is there anything here useful? Risky. That's actually a pretty good trade value. Yeah, let's take it. What? Lighting changed really drastically. I don't know what happened there. Alright, anything else good in here? Empty box. Oh, this isn't even stealing. Well, it kind of makes sense. He wouldn't own this stuff. Yes, doctor's bag. Yeah, that's great. Okay, it's empty. Great. Yes. Great. Yes. Attack. Uh, take that. These aren't good, are they? Nah. Great, yes. Sack. Um. No, no. What's in this crap? Alright, well. What was in there? Can I pick this up? Oh, yeah, I can. Oh, just corn. Who needs you, corn? 
Yes. All kinds of good stuff in here. Jeez. Whoa. Oh. That's mine. Sorry. I didn't mean to do that. And duffel bag. Yes. 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 Ooh. What's in here? Oh, so easy. That's good. That is not. That is not. Can I? Now I can get these. There we go. Sorry, bud. Didn't mean to steal your ammo. So what's going on? All right. Try. I hope I can still like get all that other dialogue stuff from him. Like, who even is this guy? Like, he's being chased by the powder gangers. But well, I guess like that's kind of the whole deal. You know, you're helping this guy even though you have no idea who he is. All right, let's talk to Sunny. And oh. It's dawn, so we can actually talk to chat. Let's do that first. Chet! Come on. You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. The way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special Whoa. ammo. Well worth the caps if you ask me. If you're hurting say for so. caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great, but you get what you pay for. Yeah, tell me about Weapon those. Weapon mods are things like silencers, scopes, bigger magazines. Special ammo includes things like armor-piercing bullets, which don't hurt the target as much, but let you punch through armor easier. There's also hollow point bullets, which have the opposite effect. You can kill unarmored targets easier, but they don't do shit against armor. Oh, I make surplus inferior. It's all about quantity over quality. Trouble is, you'll be cleaning and fixing your gun a lot more than usual when you use those kind of bullets. That does not sound good. All right. What do you know about the situation? Powder gangers. If Ringo doesn't head out on his own, I think we should hand him over. The town shouldn't get itself mixed into the problem. Don't mistake that for coward talk, though. We're a town of survivors. We'll fight tooth and nail if pushed, but we don't go looking for trouble. I mean, I guess that makes sense, but like everybody else, like literally everybody else says, oh yeah, that Joe Cobb guy, he like doesn't look intimidating at all, you know? Who cares about him? This guy's like, whoa, 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 don't get me mixing any trouble. And he's literally like the weapons merchant. Come on. You know anybody about anybody who attacked me? The leader okay. was yeah. a new Vegas type. Typical city boy. He had a bunch of great cons with him, probably hired guns. The great cons normally stay in their own territory way up northwest, on account of them being enemies with the NCR. Have you ever been to New Vegas? Twice. That's the first that question Both has come times up. I drank a lot of liquor and lost most of my caps at the card tables. In that order, now that I think about it. If you ever get to New Vegas, be sure to visit Gamora. It's the best casino in the city. You won't regret it. Word of advice, behave. Between the NCR military police and Mr. House's robots, you don't want to be causing trouble on the strip. I'd like to know more about Mr. House. Hey, that's the first time this option has come up. That sounds good. I'm afraid I don't know much myself. Mr. House has got his own casino, Lucky 38, but nobody goes in or out except his robots. The other casinos follow Mr. House's rules, so I guess that makes him the leader of New Vegas. As far as I know, nobody's ever laid eyes on the guy. I think that robot who pulled you out of the dirt belongs to Mr. House. If Mr. House is looking after you, it's got to be a good thing, right? Is Mr. House going to end up being like this like weird sentient computer guy? Or is he going to be like like a ghoul or is he like not going to exist? He's going to be like this weird like computer hive mind. That'd be cool. And he like inhabits like all of the technology on the strip like controls it all. It's like GLaDOS. Can you tell me anything about the great cons? They're tough sons of bitches. Mean, but not crazy. They'll leave you alone unless you got something they want. The great cons deal in illegal chems. 
there's a good chance that most chems you come across were made by great cons. Weren't they actually, like, in the first one? Show me what you have for sale. Let's get on with this. Can do. Let's see. Whoa! All kinds of... Okay, let's, let's order this. I already have one of those. Inflicts fatigue damage for knockouts. That's cool. Dynamites. What's GRA? Plasma pistol and laser pistol with GRA. I don't know. Recharger rifle. Is that just like... Yeah, it looks like it doesn't actually take ammo? It just kind of like regenerates? I don't know, these are all like... Power weapons so, and I don't do that. Throwing knives, bonus crit damage. Oh. Oh, that actually sounds really cool. I'm gr I'm grabbing one of those. That's awesome. Leather armor. I think mine's better. Damage threshold six. What is mine? Lightweight leather armor. Damage threshold yet yeah, eight. And it weighs less as well. Okay. This pre-war hat, yeah, the same as mine. I might, yeah, I want to buy it so I can repair the other one. Is that still how it works? I think so. Need anything here? I kind of got a lot of this type of stuff from the doctor's house. Ooh, increases conditioning. 38 special, lots of ammo boxes. see laser pistol focus optics oh that's from like the expansion pack increases damage plus three that's cool anything good for actual weapons i'm using varmint rifle silencer Ooh. i kind of wish it was a scope though totally cool though why not you know i'm going sniper might as well get the silencer do i need any more ammo how am I doing on like 10 millimeters? I could probably use more 10 millimeters. That's what I'm using right now. And then 556 is what the environment rifle use, I think. I'm good on that. Let's get 10 millimeters. Where are they? Wait, do you, how do you not have? Ugh, he doesn't even have any. All right, let's sell some of the crap I've got. Start from the top. All right, nine mil p pistol. I don't know, that might actually end up better. Plus it uses 9mm, which I've got more of, so I might want to just hang on to it. And the revolver might be more powerful once I actually repair it. Mm. I definitely don't want the throwing spears. I'm not gonna use those. Um, caravan shotgun? Double barrel shotgun? Nah, I'm not gonna use this. Gets me some good caps though. The shovel, I think I needed it to, like, dig up those graves. Like, I think I couldn't do it without it. I'm gonna hang on to it. I'm gonna keep a shovel around. It kind of fits, like, the, the ranger vibe. You know, to carry all this cool, like, varied gear. Utility stuff. It must look weird to have, like, a pack with, like, all these guns sticking out of it. Like, I kind of wish there was a game where you actually saw that. Or like your inventory size, like the space mattered, and you could actually like see all the stuff like crammed into your bag. That would be kind of cool. Grenade rifle. I mean, we've got that many grenades. We might as well keep it so we have some kind of explosive thing. Laser pistol. It's seeming that these actually aren't hard to come by, so I'm just gonna sell it. I don't need that. Rod machete. I don't know. Let's let's hang on to a good good amount of this stuff. I don't want to sell it if I'll end up needing it. Armor Vault 13 jumpsuit. Um, I mean, it's got the same armor class as this, but it just weighs a lot more. So let's just sell it. I don't need that. And this is medium, and it hurts agility, so I don't want that. This is just crappy. And that doesn't even, isn't even armored. All right. Yes. Oh, geez. Yeah, he doesn't even have enough caps. Is there anything else we want to buy from him? I don't know what GRA means. Oh, Gun Runner's Arsenal. Gun Runner's Arsenal. What? 
Oh, does that mean you have to get one of these GRA ones to be able to put, like, the GRA mods on it? That's weird. Why are there... Are they better? Probably. Th that's definitely what it is, though. That's definitely what it is. Is there anything else I could get? Like, how about just stim packs? Can never use... Uh, oh, jeez. That was actually a lot. Alright, well, let's, let's actually go make sure we're selling everything we want to sell. Don't need all the booze. Can I poison weapons with this? I don't know. Blood pack. What do you even use that for? HP plus one. Get rid of that. Bloat fly meat. Mm. I definitely don't need that. Buffalo gourd seed. Oh, keep some of the food stuff. Cause I don't know, we, we, we'll find recipes at some point. These are all good. Yeah, that's good. Super stems to base for the yeah, that's all good. Ski Xander root. Let's get rid of five of them. Yeah, that's still good. Oh, here we go. Yeah, you can probably make poison off this, but cigarettes, get rid of those. I don't know, can you do stuff with these? Let's get rid of this, because just, like, I'm sure geckos are all over the place. I don't know if these are used in food, or if they're used in, like, recipes. I don't know. Let's just get rid of this stuff. I don't know what it's used for. Yeah. Okay, there we go. That should be everything, right? Yeah. Alright, except, that's good. Let's get out of here. Let's Pleasure actually start doing stuff. With you. Let's go talk to Sunny. Now. Get out of here. Woo! Alright, all geared up. Let me check out that throwing knife real quick. That sounds cool. I hope it's not one use. I hope I can go, like, pick it up. Oh, so cool. Alright, switch back to this. Sunny! No, where is she? She in here? Tell me she's in here. I don't want to have to go hunting her down. Ugh, she's not. Is anybody in here? Why is it unlocked? Where is she then? Is she on my mini-map? I think that's... Is that her? Let's check I have the right quest on right now. Yeah, yeah, I do. Okay. Right, let's go. Boing, 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 boing. They use all kinds of different fences here. It's like they can't decide on one. Look at this. Like, literally every little strip of fence is a different one. Where is she? Is she in here? Is this her house? Yeah? I guess? Is that her? Yeah, it is. What? No. Howdy. No, it's not. There she is. Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? Yup. Yeah, I need your help with the powder. Say no more. I'm in. Yeah, it really doesn't take anything to convince her. Like, both times, I'm just like, Hey, Sunny! And she's like, say no more. I'm doing it. Let's go. Just like that? Just like that. I have a feeling that I'm going to end up fighting those guys one way or another. So I might as well get it over with. Joe Cobb talks about leaving us alone if we hand over Ringo. But I know his type. He and his friends will come after the town eventually. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. 
I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere. And Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Talk to them as well. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. Jeez. Alright, so I have to just literally go back and talk to everybody else in town again. Uh, Alright, let's get some help on how to do this all. A silver tongue would help. Convincing Trudy that we had a good plan to win the fight would also help. Alright, so I might want to talk to Trudy last. So we have more people on our side. Uh, I don't think give is in Chet's vocabulary. Even with the town at stake... Do I already just, like, him. need to have... a high speech skill? Easy Pete's pretty protective of his dynamite. You'd have to convince him you know a thing or two about explosives before you hand oh, well, it over. Oh, well, I don't, so... Alright, I'll be waiting. We can talk about the rest of that stuff later. Alright, talk to... I don't know. Easy Pete first? I don't have good speechcraft or anything. Let's talk to Doug Mitchell first, actually. He seems like he might be the easiest to get to help. This is a really steep slope. I find it weird how, like, none of these houses are actually attached to the roads. Like, there's there's no connection. Because these are all supposed to be, like, pre-war homes, so were they all just, like, with dirt paths just going out to them with, like, really steep slopes? I don't have driveways or garages or or anything like that. Alright, where's the doctor? Is he still at the table? He was. How are you holding up? There we go. Seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. Folks just never leave each other alone. Oh, I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg. And my supplies are scarce. But I'll give you what I Knew can spare. It. I don't even have to ask twice. You said before you had something taken from you. I actually don't remember that. But okay. Well, ain't we all, right? That was a long time ago. I don't pay it much mind anymore. Oh, well, great, yeah. yeah. Well, that helped. Oh, jeez. How do we get... That? Okay. You take... So up in there's just like a button that was like equivalent to goodbye. Alright, well, got extra Simpax. That's good. Um, what, Easy Pete next? Oh wait, maybe if I go back and talk to Chet, or not Chet, um, Ringo, now that I talked to Sunny, because he wanted to hear back then. She said, like, if I talk to Trudy and we have a good plan, that she'll likely join me, so maybe if I, like, hash it out with Ringo, that would help? Does that make sense? Let's try. Doesn't hurt, I mean, this is the conversation quest. So what's going on? Did Sunny agree to help us? She did! Well, I guess that means we're ready to go. Unless you think there's something else you can do. Ah, uh, well. All right. I'll just wait here until you come get me. I guess. I guess not. All right. Well, at least we know how to proceed with the thing. I guess we we can do it without like successfully convincing everyone else. But I mean, we should. I mean, they'll give us stuff and it'll make it easier. It'll probably be cooler too. Let's just see see what they what we can do with them. Uh, let's talk to Easy Pete first. Where the heck is he? The Where's everybody? Did I just like start this at the worst time of day to actually find people. There he is. Howdy. Howdy. Yeah, I heard you got dynamite. Too dangerous. 
going to kill all yourselves if I let you touch it. Better to leave it buried. Safer that way. Oh, man. Do I have anything that can increase my explosives? Yup. Yep. Don't want to try that unless I've got enough explosives and experience. Um, let's see. Do I have anything? First off, let's let's see what what stat here affects explosives. Um, it's intelligence. Which one, like, dictates explosives, or can I not do it that way? Any way I can boost my explosives at all? I don't think I have any apparel that will do it. One thing I can do is repair this guy with the other one. There we go. Um, I don't think I have any, like, explosive magazine or anything. No, not really. Alright, let's let's come back after what, Trudy? Trudy? Is she the one that like brushed past hey, me and went in? Oh, that was Sunny. Where's Trudy? Where is everybody? Alright, let's try chat then. Chat! Hold up. You looking to buy some supplies? No. Now just hold on. I never voted to take on the powder gangers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. I mean, it's leather armor. It's actually not. Right. Alright. I do actually have a barter hey. book. So... Get back here. It was like Salesman Weekly. You looking to buy some supplies? This again? Like I said, I'm against. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> oh jeez, that's that's not a barter response. That's just kind of like. Oh god. You made your point. I can provide people with some leather armor and extra ammo. Sure hope it's worth it. And, uh, I'll be guarding the store while all this is going on. I have to put my business first. You understand. Yeah, but just, like, Take it easy go to sleep and, like, leave the door unlocked every night, you know. That doesn't matter. That's fine. This is open 24 hours. And yet, the bar owner just isn't here. There she is. Where'd she come from? Morning. So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang. It's a big risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. Oh, that's cool. Multiple skills can dictate it, so I'm not good with speech. There we go, perfect. That does sound like a good plan. All right, you seem to know what you're doing, so you can count me in. Let me have a word with a few other folks, and I'll see if I can't round up some more members for this militia you're creating. There we go. Well, everyone does gonna make it easier. Gun, we could stand to be a little better equipped. The general store probably has what we need in stock. Already dealt with, Trudy. You don't worry about a thing. All right. I don't know if there's any way I can get this stuff from Easy Pete. Like, I'm close with the explosives. Hey. What do you know about trouble? Oh, is that seriously all he's got to say? Yeah, that's helpful. Welcome. Thanks, Easy Pete. Can I just like not get the dynamite? Oh, I guess probably not. I can't get all the people to help me. Too dangerous. Sorry. Could I like try this again? Yep. I could. Yep. All right. Well, I probably can't do that. I don't have high enough explosives, and I don't see any way to raise it at this point without, like, leveling up and putting skill points in it. 
even though I kind of don't want it, you know? So, I'd probably just, like, go talk to Ringo. Ringo! We are all set. What's the plan? Are we ready? Yeah. Alright, so it looks like we're all set to go with this uh, powder ganger ambush um, to take on Joe Cobb. Uh, we enlisted a lot of people, which is good. We got, you know, the good majority of them, I guess. Uh, so it should be significantly easier to do this, especially with my squishy little sniper character. But um, we'll save that for next time. Uh, that's that's what we'll start with. We'll start off with something real exciting, and then uh, maybe we'll see if we can uh, do a little bit more exploring around the area, and then head to Prim, see if we can get to the second town and see what's up there. So, hope you had a fun time. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you then.